Hi, welcome. This is a Arc Linux distro or system, and it's based on the version of the ISO version of 1906. I've just made, I've just answered something, uh, somebody on, on uh, the forum, and it's all about PAMEC AWAR. I did make a article already about PAMEC AOR, but it seems to be it's on, on Tergos, and this is a good way to again tell to people that it doesn't really matter what you actually want to find out or to look up. If it's Arch Linux based, it's Arch Linux based. PEMIC AOR will be running on any Arch Linux system. So if somebody explains you applications for Arch, Antergos, etc., 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 then it's good to, to listen, it's good to learn. So that's one thing. Now, of course, we do want to have something uh, specific on the websites of Arco Linux. So let's get into this little icon on here, uh, on in the right uh, bottom here. You see this red thing, when we click on it, it's PAMIC AOR that starts. It gives us updates or signals that there are updates available. Now, there are, I use it a lot of, of the time and it probably is in some separate video, but not, sorry, not in a separate video, but in some video, I will have told you that there are settings, references in here. So we have a specific video just for taking a look at all these preferences. So refresh databases is something similar as pseudo pacman minus s. Well, let's type it out, Eric. Pseudo pacman minus s yyu, which is for us just update. Our alias is called update. And it's the equivalent is up there, pseudo pacman minus s yyu. So if we do refresh databases, just gonna ask, of course, I have to be root, and it's gonna check, are there new files on the servers out there? And it's gonna show immediately, would you like to install it? Would you like to install this and upgrade that? That's the questions he's gonna ask. Cancel. So we already know that there are updates available and we can install it just by clicking apply. But let's keep going, view history. This is what has been installed in the past and you can take a look at the date and the hour here and you can scroll back in time. So that's basically what I'm doing, scrolling back in time. But we also have something called RIP and we like RIP as well. RIP is also telling the same information that this little thing was the very last thing I did on the 12th of June, etc., etc., all the way up from more, most recent to all the way up. So that's another way. Okay, close. You can search in the history. This one, install local packages, is when you have something built, you build it yourself maybe, and you can say, do install me this. You have to go to an LPM package. It's a tar.xz package, and then you can install it. But same thing, and that's always the point, and it's good that you hear it from somebody. So this is the same sorry, minus U, and then the package, some package, tar set. And then you can install it as well, it's the same functionality that's here, but this is a GUI. A GUI is just a front end to the back end, and the back end is what I'm typing in, these terminal things, that's the back end. It's still the same um, execution of a command that's behind this beautiful layout for PAMEC AUR. And then the last thing, preferences, is the question I've uh, of the answer I've, I've given online on the forum in some of the tutorials that I've made in the past surely I must have mentioned that you can also add AOR support so you can remove unrequired required dependencies if you say okay I want to install something but something is necessary to build package A but after the build I don't need it anymore and I'm gonna remove the unrequired dependencies. That's some kind of cleanup tool, which I don't use. There's not much uh, filth going on or junk going on in Arch Linux, in Linux in general. Check available disk space. Yeah, um, I think I'll do that just by checking out here underneath free space. And whatever I'm doing, sometimes it happens when I have a lot of virtual machines in there, then it says I can't build it anymore. And then I get, okay, it's full. 
my SSD is completely filled. So it'll go, we'll check if I wanted to, I could. Maximum parallel downloads for no problem. Enable downgrades. We can actually downgrade uh, packages. If you say a new package, let's say Firefox came in and for some reason you don't want that, you can download a um, package, but we don't do it there. We do it actually here. This is an application that's installed, downgrade Firefox. Okay, which version? One, two, three, four, five, downgrade. Okay, just press the number and there is a yes to add it to your pacman.conf, not to update anymore. And that's that. So we do it that way. Check for updates. Yes, he's doing that. Otherwise it wouldn't be read. How often to check? So if you want to check it less or more. Sometimes people say, ah, oh, so many updates. Well. 24 just one update a day so it's gonna check once a day and gonna be read once okay so automatically download updates if you want high tray when no update available so if you want to get rid of it this little icon here is possible too the point for the video is actually this thing do you want to enable AOR support so arch let's go there Eric what is AOR for Arch? This is AOR for Arch. So up here, there's a link. Arch user repository. Arch user repository. And it's people, any people, me, you, people, who put in package builds or recipes to build some kind of package that's online somewhere at Red Hat, at Debian, on a GitHub, in a zip, anywhere. And it's going to be repacked so that we can use it on Arch. That's AOR. So if you want to update packages, and we do have lots of packages from AOR, can we see that, Eric? Repositories. Uh, okay, groups, repositories installed. I guess we can't see it. What packages come from AOR? But I can show you in here if we go to GitHub. Arch Linux, when we make an ISO, we use a repo, a particular repo, the Arch Linux ISO uh, repo, that's the one. All the packages that are in here are, let's have a look, um, nope, that's the wrong one, no, it's the correct one. These guys starting from here are AOR stuff. Conky, Lua, Downgrade, Faba stuff. These are all packages coming from AOR. Our systems wouldn't be that nice, wouldn't be that slick if we were saying, no, we're not gonna install anything from AOR. The fun stuff comes from AOR. The nice stuff comes from there. So we can say, okay, rather, so let's go again to the terminal. If we do an update, which I need to do apparently, if we do an update, right, I'm going to say update just at this point in time, I'm just gonna update solely Arco Linux stuff and Arch Linux stuff, not AOR stuff. So I'm not sure if we have any, but well, let's update the system anyway, because I need to update, that was a wrong password. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. I see a Linux version here, so I need to reboot. There's a new kernel coming in. So that's our stuff coming from Arch Linux and Arch Linux. And is there an Arch Linux? Well, no, there is no update coming from Arch Linux. It starts somewhere at the top and no name in there. So that's that. If we want to get the updates from the AOR, what we'll do then, after this one, I'll do always this in the videos because I want to explain people that there are two major differences, the Arch repos and the AOR builds. That's something else. So the right one is going to update Arch Linux and Arch Linux. When I do an update, oops, yeah, I can do miss, I, I made a, um, a new alias when I mistype it, it's gonna update anyway. So everything is up to date, except let's find out if I press PKSYUA, 
it's going to check the AOR. I can do it here. Let's wait till we activate it here as well. Preferences, AOR, activate, check for updates from AOR. Yes, please. Development packages, mm, not going to do that. Going to build in temp. If temp is super, super um, filled out, if, if you have had somebody talking about Android builds and, and things like that, and the temporary folder was getting too um, crowded, it was getting over flooded with all these, these builds. So that was a good time to move to, for instance, your .cache folder in your home directory. But normally there's no issue at all, it was just one guy. So enable AOR support, okay, done, close, and then you check it again. Refresh databases, the updates should be gone for Arch Linux, Arch Linux, and hopefully, but that's not the case. <laughs> there is nothing to install, so let me can do it again here. There is nothing new. Any package that's coming from the AOR is already up to date. There is nothing to do, there's just an out of date AOR, so the package builder needs to update that script, that package build. So now we have a video explaining to you that there is a GUI, PAMIC AUR, that's going to give pass along commands, which we'll just, which we can type as well here. So you choose whether you'd like a graphical user interface or you like a command line. And in all my videos lately, I always do update and PKS YUA, but it's all up to you, but you need to set it so that also the AUR comes in. Otherwise you'll just update Arch, which is just fine and everything will just work and everything will be splendid, you know? But if you want to have the latest up-to-date application coming from the AUR, you need to set this and this, that's it. All right, another video about updating and keeping your system rolling. Cheers.